Space Boy by David Williams. For Alfred, my love, my love for you is bigger than the universe. Dad X, thank you. In the 1960s, the world was gripped in by the space race. This was a time when the two superpowers of America and Russia battled to be first. First to launch a space rocket. First to orbit the Earth. First to send a dog into space. First to send a man into space. First to land a man on the moon. The prize was a monumental to take control of space itself. Our story is set in the early years of that decade in a dusty old farm town in the Midwest of America, a place where nothing ever happens. That is, until the adventure of a lifetime begins. Meet the characters in this story. Ruth. Ruth is a 12-year-old orphan who is obsessed with outer space. She stays up all night to watch the stars from her tiny attic room in her aunt's farmhouse. Yuri, Yuri is, is, the, is Ruth's three-legged dog. She found him, he, she found him lying in the, in the row, not far from the farmhouse. Ruth named her pet after her hero, the Russian cosmonaut. Yuri Gargan, Gargan had had just become world famous as the very first human in space. Aunt Dorothy, Aunt Dorothy, Aunt Dorothy, he had lived all alone in a dusty old ostrich until all the night her the, her distant relative Ruth turned up on her doorstep. Reluctantly, e Aunt Dorothy took the orphan in, but her but put her straight to work on the farm. Aunt Dorothy looks like a crocodile and snaps like one too. The sheriff, the donut-loving sheriff, spent his career in the police force, longing for drama. However, this tiny town in a the American Midwest is the is the in the Midwest. The most thrilling emergency calls he receives are for a cat stuck up in a tree, a stolen bucket, or a ma missing shoe. All this, all that is about to change with the arrival of a of a creature from another world. The President. The President of the United States of America might be the most powerful person on the planet, guarded day and night by, by secret service agents, but he's a silly little man. He is incredibly vain, in with a deep tan and a ridiculous ginger toupee. All the President cares about is is his himself so when an alien lands on earth he wants to make it all about him me 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 majors majors this is a tall this tall broad man has good looks of an aging movie star he is the most decorated soldier in the u.s military history and has made top dog in america's top secret base this this is, is where the sky is monitored for UFOs and unidentified flying objects. The top secret base is hidden deep underground in the desert. The place is so secret that no one knows it, it even exists. That except the president and majors majors, of course. Otherwise, they, he wouldn't be able to find his way to work in the morning. Dr. Shrock. Dr. Shrock is a half man, half machine. The genius scientist worked for the Germans during the Second World War. Then he, then he was all mach man, no machine. But one night he blew himself up when designing an epic rocket. Twenty years later, 
Dr. Shock is in charge of the failing American space program where he barks orders at boffins. The boffins. These boffins are at NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Admirate. Administration. These special space boffins are the boffinest boffins in the whole history of boffinodom. And finally, Space Boy, a mysterious figure in a shiny silver space suit, suit, boots, gloves, cape, and a mirrored helmet. Space Boy speaks in a spooky voice, his face completely hidden behind his helmet. The map of America.